Hello, good day, dear friends. Myself, Sunil Sonigra, and today we are going to discuss about the problems of solution in the subject of mechanical drafting. Previously, we solved some so, some problems based on projections of solid, sections of solids, and in development of the surfaces. Today, we will discuss the problems which is having combination of these three chapters, that is, sections of solids, projections of solids, and development of the outer surface of the solid. The first problem for today's discussion is that. A pentagonal pyramid is standing on HP on its base whose one side is perpendicular to vertical plane. It is cut by a section plane 45 degree inclined to HP and perpendicular to vertical plane through midpoint of the axis. Draw front view, sectional top view, true shape of section and development of surfaces. Side length is equal to 30 mm, height is equal to 50 mm. Here, pentagonal pyramid is given with the side length 30 mm and height 50 mm. It is resting on its base whose one side is perpendicular to vertical plane. So, we have to draw its top view in such a way that it's, uh, it's a pentagonal in shape and one side is perpendicular to vertical plane means it should be perpendicular to xy line. Then, this, uh, this pyramid is cut by a cutting plane which makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane and perpendicular to VP through the midpoint of the axis. So, from so first we need to identify the midpoint of the axis and then after from that midpoint that means at a height of 25 millimeter from the base we have to draw a cutting plane line which makes an angle of 45 degree with XY line and after that we have to cut uh, in front view and then project those points to top view and we can draw its sectional top view and after transferring the points perpendicular to the cutting plane line we can draw its true shape and after that we will draw the development of the outer surface so first let me draw its top view <coughs> in which one side is perpendicular to xy line as shown over here so first of all draw xy line and below xy line draw a line which is perpendicular to xy line and length is 30 millimeter this is the 30 millimeter length below x y line after that draw a pentagon like this and this included angle is 180 minus 72 and extruded angle is 72 degree so we can draw pentagon by any method this method this angle should be 108 degree so this is the pentagon having side length 30 mm and one side is perpendicular to x y line after that name the endpoints point a b point c d and e <coughs> name each endpoints with small letters and as it's a top view no dash mark should be there now find out midpoint of the axis or apex point so for that join find out midpoint of bc or any opposite side and join that midpoint with opposite corner like this similarly find out midpoint of ab and join midpoint of ab with D and both this line will intersect at one point and this is that point which is the axis of this solid. So from that point draw an axis or center line. After that height is given that is 50 millimeter. So from at a distance of 50 millimeter from xy line mark a point on axis. So this is the apex point of given pentagonal pyramid. Now take projections from this end from projection from a and b will be on the same vertical line projection from point c and e will be on the same vertical line and projection line from point d that will cut x y line at three points join all these three points with apex point o dash and here o c generator or o c slantage would be visible so draw it with the full line so this is the front view of given condition so till now we have drawn the projection of solid and this is apex point O join O A dash B dash is here C dash A D dash is here and E dash is here so A dash B dash at the base A dash B dash C dash D dash and E dash are on the base and apex point is here that is O dash so after naming all the points we have to find out the position of cutting plane so for that find out midpoint of the axis somewhere here 
and join all these points see you can see here if you look from the top side in case of pentagon pentagonal pyramid this the slant edges would be fully visible so oa is the slant edge which is which is visible ob oc join o with ob oc od and oe with the full line so this is the top view of given pentagonal pyramid erase these lines as it's not needed now find out midpoint of the axis total height is 50 mm so at a distance of 25 mm from the base mark a point over here this distance is 25 mm and from this line draw a line which makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line this is a cutting plane line and this line would be full line because here solid is cut so this line would be full line it's a fully visible this upper portion is removed portion so it should be erased and this is the solid which retains with us after cutting at an angle of 45 degree from midpoint of the axis now next objective ins insert the dimension that is this angle is 45 degree with xy line <coughs> now find out the points of intersection so for that let me locate here generator o des a des and o des b des two slant edges are there and both these slant edges are cut by this cutting plane so intersection of this cutting plane and this slant edge here two points would be there so from this one point draw a straight vertical line like this that will cut o a at one point and o b at another point so two points are here p1 and p2 on these slant edges o a and o b similarly from this point draw a straight vertical line like this that will cut this is o c and o e are here so on o e it will cut at one point somewhere here and o c that line will cut at this point so we have picked up four points 1 2 3 and 4 now fifth point over here intersection of o d s d d s and this cutting plane line one point so from this point draw a straight vertical line that will cut o d at one point and this is that point now join all these points five points with a straight line as it's a pentagonal pyramid like this a to b b to c c to d d to e and e to back to a so this would be an irregular pentagonal shape showing the true sh the, the cutting sectional portion of top view now this edge is cut portion point o so this portion internal portion should be erased because it is a cut portion like this we should erase this and in this portion as it's a cut portion over here we have to draw section lines name the end points point number 1 2 3 4 and point number 5 1 is on oa 2 is on ob 3 on oc 4 is on od and 5 is on oe now draw section lines line at an angle of 45 degree these all lines should be at equal distance from each other and make an angle of 45 degree with xy line it should be drawn like this so this is called as sectional top view of given problem so first step of the problem is solved that is sectional top view now we worry about front view this is a front view in front view this portion is removed portion so we could we should draw this we should make it lighter now how to draw its development the last step of this problem so for that name the points one day two days over here three days is here four days is here and five days point is here so these are the points which are on the slant edges but all these points are not on its true length except point number four days four days is on true length o des d des because o d is parallel to x y line hence o des d des represents the true length of its slant edge and hence this point is on is at a true position so this point number 3 days 5 days 1 day and 2 days are not on the true length so we have to transfer all these points to its true length so for that from all these points we will draw horizontal lines up to o des d des to find out its true position over its generator or over its slant edge now to draw development first we assume that this pi this pyramid is not cut anywhere or at any angle it's a full pyramid 
So, for that it would be needed. So, here to draw its true shape and for that from point number 1 days draw a line perpendicular to this cutting plane line from point 2 days, 3 days and 5 days draw a line measure the distance from x y line from in top view like this from from 1 days draw a line perpendicular to cutting plane line and measure this distance of point 1 from x y line measure this distance and put it over here. So, this is the first point now measure the distance from x y line to point 2 this point x y line to 2 and mark that point over here 1 days 2 over here. So, 2 points are put put it put over here similarly from point number 3 days draw a line perpendicular to this cutting plane line and measure the distance between x y line to point number 3 and x y line to point number 5 and locate on this line. So, point number 3 is here 5 is here point number 3 is here similarly point number 4 is here. So, measure this distance distance of point number 4 from x y line and from 4 days locate that point over here. So, these are the 5 points join all these 5 points with a straight line and this is the true shape of the section because we are looking from perpendicular to this cutting plane line and in the true shape draw lines at an angle of 45 degree with the reference line. So, this line would be either vertical line or horizontal line and this is the section line of the true shape draw the lines like this all the lines should have should be equidistance should be drawn as shown over here <coughs> and this shows the true shape of the section. So, that is second step sectional top view front view and true shape has been drawn now about its development. So, for that take O dash as a center O dash to D dash as a radius draw an arc like this because O D O dash D dash represents true length of its slant edge as O D is parallel to x y line and as it is a pentagonal pyramid draw triangle over here take side length 30 mm as radius take this point as a center and put arc over here. So, this distance is 30 millimeter and join this point with O dash. So, it is one triangle similarly it is a pentagonal pyramid. So, 5 triangles would be there. So, join draw here 5 triangles taking 30 mm as radius again put here arc again from this point cut an arc at a distance of 30 mm and again over on this side the fourth triangle and this is the fifth triangle. So, these 5 triangles represents the development of outer surface of this pentagonal pyramid. If my pyramid is not cut anywhere this would be its development. Now, the pyramid is cut at this portion point number 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days and 5 days. So, for that we have to find out the true position of the point name the end point. So, this is point number A, point number B is here, point number C is here, point number D is here, point number E and back to point number A. A B C D E end point of its generator. On A generator O A point number is O A is here, here is the point 1 days and 2 days. So, from this point draw straight horizontal line that will cut O A O dash A at one point. So, this is our first point. Now, take O dash as a center O dash to this point as a radius draw an arc like this it will cut O B at one point. Similarly, point number C is here. So, from this point draw horizontal line on O dash C days point number 3 days and 5 days are here. So, from those to this point draw horizontal line take O dash as a radius O dash as a center O dash to 3 days that is a radius draw an arc that will cut O C at one point. Similarly, the same arc will another arc O dash to D dash point number 4 is here 4 days. So, O dash to 4 days as a, as a radius O dash as a center draw an arc that will cut O D at one point over here then extend O E O E is here on O dash E dash point number 5 is here. So, transfer this point to this arc. So, here will be point number 5 and this will be point number on O dash A one point is here. So, these are the 5 points join all these points in sequence with a straight line like this P 1 to P 2 P 2 to P 3 P 3 to P 4, P 4 to P 5, P 5 to P 6, P 
P6 and remove this portion as it is a removed portion remove this one also and this portion is also needed to be erased one or make it much lighter because it is a it is cut portion this arc also darker this line this line this will be darkened line this will be visible line so make it much darker as compared to the previously drawn problem like this like this and finally this line and this arc also need not to be shown you can erase that arc or make it much lighter now this cutting portion as shown over here represents the development of given problem this arc also not needed which can be erased like this so this is the complete solution of given problem front view that is projections of polyd solid this is sectional top view so section of solid this is true shape and this is the development of given problem i hope the solution of this problem is clear to you now second problem a square pyramid 40 mm base sides and axis 60 mm long has a triangular face on horizontal plane it is cut by a cutting plane parallel to hp and passing through the center of square base draw front view sectional top view true shape of the sections and development of lateral surfaces here square pyramid is given side length and height are given to us and its triangular face is on horizontal plane so we have to draw a square pyramid so for that draw x y line which represents intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane and draw a square below x y line in such a way that two sides become perpendicular to x y line because it is given that it has a triangular face on horizontal plane square pyramid is having four triangular faces and here it is given that it is resting on its triangular face so its top view would be a square and its front view would be a triangle this is a square having 40 mm dimension so that you can write like this sq40 means it's a square of having side length 40 millimeter 